Hey guys, thank you for watching my online bass guitar lesson series. Let's play that bass line. In this series, I transcribed and arranged a bass line into one minute. And I broke that down into a couple of short exercises as well. This week, I chose an awesome slap bass line from Fusion Pop Band, Dirty Loops. With that said, let's play that bass line. Jin's Bass Studio. In this channel, we share knowledge about this sexy instrument, the bass. I post content about bass lessons, peer review, pretty much anything about the bass guitar. So if you want to learn more about this awesome instrument, please give a thumbs up on that like button and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of our content. All right, enough said, let's get started. For this week, I arranged 2020 Rock You by Dirty Loops from album Phonics into one minute baseline and also added three short exercises along with that. Dirty Loops are known for posting a reharmonized covers on pop songs like Baby by Justin Bieber, Rolling in the Deep by Adele on their YouTube channel. All three of Dirty Loops member has attended Royal College of Music in Stockholm together and I can say that they have all developed incredible musical skill and styles. And I feel that their musical sense influenced a new era of musical style, combining a variety of style into popular music. And this unique, amazing cover brought attention to producers, and soon they have signed a record contract with world-renowned producers such as David Foster and Universal Music. If you guys want to know more about Dirty Loops, please check the description below. All right, I can't forget talking about the bassist Hendrik Linder. Linda is known for using a variety of techniques in his playing. Being in a trio without guitar player, he uses variety of chords and inversions to create new harmonic concepts that works with the piano parts and fill in chordal space. So his monster level of technical bass playing receives a great reputation on bassist, keeping the band grooving while being a super bassist. But hey, when it comes to learning his bass line, I feel that for some of you guys, it is pretty advanced. So as always, I have broken down the bass line into a few sections and play that in slower tempo. So with that said, let's jump into that video. I bet for some of you guys, it is still fast, isn't it? So if you are still struggling to play in tempo, go ahead and change the play speed setting of the video. That locates right-hand corner of the screen. 
I believe that before trying to learn the whole one minute bass line, learning these three short exercises are a great way to start. Make sure to slow it down enough so you can isolate the parts and read the tabs on the screen. All right, as always, it is right about the time for me to share my three best advice when it comes to learning these bass lines. First advice, play your transition smoothly. If you try to play this weak bass line, you can see that there's a couple of big jumps on the fretboard. Make sure to play those transitions clear. And before you play, always analyze how you're gonna play the bass line. And if you need to, you can even change the fingering of the score. My way of playing might not be the best way for your playing. As long as the note is correct, it is okay to play at the different position on the neck. Be open mind. Every bass player can have different approaches. Make sure to find your own best way to play the phrases. Second advice. Rather than chasing the tempo, feel the tempo and relax. On Rock You, tempo is pretty fast to play with the slap technique. I see a lot of players get tense when they're about to play in a fast tempo. I mean, I do understand that tense comes from trying to nail the notes right. But as the tempo rises, always make sure you relax first. And remember, a relaxed form always help you to deliver the right technique that when you need to play the advanced bass lines. Third advice, do not compromise your groove over techniques. This is very important one. If you see closely at this week's bass line, it has a couple of advanced techniques, such as double thumb and triplets. Like these techniques, if you are not used to practicing them, a lot of bassists can't even play the phrases. So what I recommend doing is that if it's too tricky to play, arrange into something you can play. And of course, I don't mean to say that do this while you're practicing. I want you to practice and develop the skill if you could. This is just what I would recommend when you see two difficult parts while you are on session work or live situation. So always keep in mind that we are not the soloist. We are rhythm section player. Our job is to make the band groove. So if you can't play them, arrange them. Always groove first. Hey guys, this week baseline is pretty advanced, but I hope these points help you to get the right feel and the right sound on your playing. Keep practicing, you got this. Thank you so much for watching my video until the end. I tried to point out the only the importance, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments. I will try to upload the bass guitar content as much as I can. Thanks for the support. And if you guys liked my content, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our content. All right, that's it for today's bass lesson. Play the bass, see you next time.